I'm going to meet Chef Dips Roman. Gonna make me gourmet Michelin star shawarma. He told me all you need to know is I have souvé and I have some fancy stuff, and he's going to make the very fancy chicken shawarma wrap. But Michelin star, I trust him with everything he does. You know, he makes sure he's gonna get the halal meat. He protects his culture. I protect my culture. The best in the West. All right, so today we're gonna make uh, shawarma made my way, and right now I'm working on a pita bread which I'm just going to portion and let it proof a second time. To me, it's like, okay, what's like the dirtiest thing we can find and turn into gold? That to me, this is where like a chef shows talent. So that's why the sous vide is really helpful to kind of like help you achieve those textures or those techniques. My friend, I didn't have shawarma for one week. You know what happened? I was the breast. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out. Same texture as the sea. I wouldn't tell the difference, my friend. Special, special it's a bit bread. Hard. Oh, look at the bubbles. But I can't put my hand in there. Okay, so you told me there is something fascinating about the fries. Yes, they are triple cooked. Triple cooked. But are they the best in the West? Then when the pita is done, we're gonna assemble it. First, I'm gonna cut the bread. I'm gonna add my garlic mayo, my tahini, my chicken, my sun-dried tomatoes, parsley, hot sauce, pomegranate molasses, of course, the pickles and the pickle red onion, the char lettuce, and the fries. I will obviously show you how to make that in another video, but wow. My friend, I am speechless. It's very nice. My friend, Romain, you have outdone yourself. The roasted garlic goes on the chicken, wraps itself around. Your pickles, next level, my friend. Bobbing with the flavors, complemented by the pickled onions. And then, my friend, first time I had roasted lettuce. Better than most shawarma shops. Let me eat the rest of this. But don't put the ketchup. Oh, I forgot one thing. Mm. Pepsi. Can't forget the Pepsi.